not careful, a day at the lake could turn tragic and one specific lake known to be more dangerous than others. Under the blistering sun of Arizona's remote desert, a startling transformation has begun to unfold. The sand-colored earth, once appearing as an unbroken stretch of arid landscape, now bears jagged, dark fissures cutting across its surface like deep scars. These cracks, in some places several feet wide and plunging downward beyond visible depth, have emerged seemingly without warning startling both residents and scientists. The phenomenon is not just another minor shift in desert terrain, it is a geological alarm bell, one that has prompted experts to raise the highest level of concern. The scale and suddenness of these ruptures have caught even seasoned geologists off guard, drawing attention from across the scientific community as the full extent of their origin and meaning begins to be explored. Before we start, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more updates. The Arizona desert, vast and unforgiving, is no stranger to environmental extremes. It has endured searing heat waves, rare but violent storms, and the slow, erosive power of wind over countless centuries. Yet the sight of the ground itself tearing apart at such a rate and with such intensity is not part of the desert's usual rhythm. The cracks run through dry washes, across open plains, and even undercut small roadways and paths used by ranchers and hikers. These are not superficial lines etched by wind or seasonal expansion. They are gaping voids in the ground, some stretching for hundreds of yards. In certain places, the soil seems to have been pulled apart, revealing layers of sediment that have not seen daylight for millennia. For geologists, these fissures signal that forces deep beneath the surface are actively reshaping the land. Arizona lies in a complex geological setting, its terrain influenced by the slow grinding of tectonic plates, the rise and collapse of ancient volcanic systems, and the subtle sinking of land due to groundwater extraction. However, the suddenness and distribution of these new cracks point to something more immediate at play. The depth of some fractures indicates a significant structural shift underground potentially linked to subsidence or localized fault activity. When earth movements happen quickly, without the usual precursor tremors or surface warning signs, they present a particularly dangerous scenario. One of the most striking aspects of the emerging cracks is their unpredictability. They have appeared in areas without recent seismic events and in locations where no historical record of similar ground ruptures exists. This irregularity has made the situation especially unsettling for researchers who rely on patterns and recorded data to forecast geological behavior. The absence of clear seismic triggers raises the possibility that the cause might involve a combination of factors acting together a kind of geological chain reaction where subtle shifts in one layer of the Earth set off a collapse or separation in another. The role of groundwater depletion has also entered the discussion. In regions of Arizona, aquifers have been tapped extensively for agricultural and urban needs. When water is removed from these underground reservoirs faster than it can be replenished, the soil and rock above can compact, causing the land to sink. Normally, this subsidence happens gradually over years, but under certain conditions it can accelerate, leading to dramatic surface breaks. The Arizona desert's dry, brittle crust is particularly vulnerable when the structural support beneath it is compromised. If the fissures are indeed linked to such processes, they could be warning signs of broader land stability issues in water-stressed parts of the state. There is also speculation that shifting stress lines in the Earth's crust could be involved. Arizona is not immune to distant tectonic pressures transmitted from fault zones in neighboring states. Even if no major fault line runs directly under the affected areas, stress redistribution from seismic events hundreds of miles away can sometimes trigger localized ground failure. The desert, with its relatively thin topsoil and underlying sedimentary rock layers, can react sharply to sudden changes in pressure, leading to the type of dramatic cracking now observed. The cracks themselves are visually striking, evoking both awe and unease. Their edges are jagged and steep, with some overhangs already collapsing inward as gravity pulls at loosened material. In the still heat of midday, they appear almost like gashes in an unhealed wound, silent but carrying an undeniable sense of tension. From a distance, they resemble dark rivers snaking through the pale desert floor, Though upon approach, the sheer drop and shadow-filled depths make it clear that these are voids, 
not channels. In places where the fissures have intersected dry washes, they create chasms that could easily swallow an unwary traveler or animal. The ecological impact is another layer of concern. The Arizona desert is home to resilient but delicate ecosystems that rely on the stability of the land. When the ground fractures, it can sever root systems, alter drainage patterns, and change the microhabitats that sustain certain plants and animals. A fissure slicing through a stand of desert shrubs or cacti can disrupt decades of slow growth. For burrowing animals, the sudden collapse of their habitat can be fatal. The creation of new and deep openings in the soil may also change how rainwater, when it does come, flows through the area, potentially concentrating runoff in ways that cause flash erosion or further structural collapse. From a human perspective, the hazard is immediate. These cracks, often concealed by shadows or blending with the terrain until approached closely, pose a risk to hikers, off-road vehicles, and ranch operations. Small roads have been partially undermined in some areas, and fence lines have been pulled apart where the ground has shifted beneath them. In rural communities, there is an underlying fear that the land they have lived and worked on for generations could become unstable without warning. The unpredictability of where a fissure might open next adds a layer of anxiety to daily life. Scientists working in the area have emphasized that these events underscore the need for deeper understanding of the complex interactions shaping the desert floor. While some fissures may be linked to known processes like subsidence or sediment collapse, others might involve less understood dynamics tied to hidden faults, underground erosion, or even volcanic features buried beneath layers of sediment. The Arizona desert, while appearing static to the casual observer, is in reality a place of continuous transformation its stability the product of countless balancing forces, some of which can shift in an instant. What makes this situation particularly compelling from a geological standpoint is the scale of the response it has triggered among experts. A red alert is not issued lightly. It signifies that conditions are considered severe and potentially escalating with a need for urgent observation and analysis. In this context, it is both a warning to the public and a call to the scientific community to focus resources on understanding the phenomenon before it worsens. The cracks, in essence, are not just physical disruptions in the land. They are visible indicators of hidden forces that could have far-reaching implications. The investigative process has already begun in earnest. Geologists are mapping the fissures in detail, using aerial surveys, drones, and ground-penetrating radar to determine their depth and structure. The data gathered will help identify whether they are connected to larger subterranean features, such as voids, faults, or eroded channels. By comparing these new cracks with older documented fissures in the state, scientists hope to find common traits that might point to an underlying cause. The urgency comes from the fact that geological processes once in motion can accelerate rapidly, and without intervention or understanding, the land could see further destabilization. Historical records in Arizona show that fissures are not unheard of, but their sudden expansion or emergence over wide areas is relatively rare. The last time such widespread attention was drawn to desert cracking was decades ago, and even then the incidents were more localized. The current situation differs in its apparent scope and in the fact that some fissures have appeared in zones previously thought to be geologically stable. This suggests either that underlying conditions have changed or that previously unknown weaknesses in the terrain are now revealing themselves. For the communities living near the affected zones, the sight of geologists and survey teams has become a regular occurrence. Trucks loaded with equipment, temporary field stations, and teams of scientists in wide-brimmed hats have become part of the landscape. These efforts, while reassuring to some, also drive home the seriousness of the event. When experts from multiple fields, geology, hydrology, engineering, converge on a site, it signals that the implications reach beyond the purely scientific. Land management, infrastructure planning, and even regional water policy could eventually be influenced by the findings. There is an unspoken recognition that the desert is capable of dramatic change, even in the absence of human activity. The forces that shape the land are ancient and powerful operating on scales of time and energy that dwarf human perception. Yet when those forces manifest suddenly, as they have now, they remind observers of the thin margin between apparent stability and transformation.
The Arizona desert has always been a place where the past is written in the layers of rock and sand. But in the emergence of these cracks, the present has carved its own abrupt mark. The red alert, while intended as a scientific and safety measure, also reflects a sense of urgency rooted in the unknown. With each day that passes, new measurements are taken, new sections of land are inspected, and new questions arise. The exact depth of some fissures remains undetermined because they descend beyond the reach of standard instruments, disappearing into darkness. There is speculation that some may connect to underground cavities or channels that extend for great distances. If so, the visible cracks could be only the most apparent symptoms of a much larger structural shift occurring out of sight. The possibility of a network of underground changes lends a certain gravity to the situation. In some geological settings, small collapses can lead to cascading failures, where the loss of structural support in one area triggers similar breakdowns nearby. This domino effect can dramatically enlarge the affected zone in a short period of time. If such a process is unfolding beneath the Arizona desert, it would explain both the suddenness and the irregular distribution of the cracks. It would also mean that the visible fissures are not isolated anomalies, but parts of a wider transformation in the land. The desert's appearance in the early morning and late afternoon adds to the surreal atmosphere of the event. When the low sun casts long shadows, the fissures become more pronounced, their edges sharply outlined against the glowing sand. In some places, the cracks cut across ridges and low hills, creating a striking contrast between the smooth, windswept slopes and the abrupt angular openings. From above, the scene is even more dramatic, the fissures forming patterns that resemble branching rivers or lightning bolts etched into the earth. The sheer visual power of these formations makes them unforgettable to anyone who encounters them. Local residents have long been attuned to the subtle changes in their environment, but the speed and magnitude of these cracks have unsettled even the most seasoned observers. Ranchers who have worked the land for decades speak of terrain that has always been firm and reliable now showing signs of instability. While scientists avoid drawing premature conclusions, the emerging consensus is that the Arizona desert is undergoing a significant active geological episode. Whether this is a short-lived phase or the beginning of a longer-term transformation remains an open question. The unfolding situation in Arizona's desert is a vivid reminder that the Earth is a living system, its surface a shifting boundary between the deep hidden processes below and the weathering forces above. When those deep processes accelerate or shift direction, the result can be as sudden as it is dramatic. The current fissures are an unmistakable sign of change, and while their ultimate cause remains under investigation, their presence has already altered the way scientists, residents, and observers view this seemingly timeless landscape. The desert, it seems, has chosen to reveal one of its deeper mysteries, and in doing so, it has commanded the attention of all who stand upon it. In the days following the red alert, the sense of urgency in the desert air has only intensified. The Arizona landscape, though still marked by its endless horizons and sweeping skies, now carries an underlying tension. The cracks do not simply rest where they first appeared. Fresh, narrow splits have been seen radiating out from the larger ones, like veins pushing their way through brittle stone. These smaller offshoots, sometimes only a few inches wide, hint that the forces at work are still active and that the ground remains under strain. The progression is slow enough to escape the notice of a casual passerby, yet consistent enough for scientists to document measurable changes over consecutive days. It's as if the desert floor is in a state of constant negotiation with itself, deciding where it will hold together and where it will give way. The soundscape of this region has also taken on new character. While the desert is usually defined by its silence, broken only by the wind, the call of a distant bird, or the rustle of a lizard through dry brush, there are now moments when the earth emits subtle but unnerving noises. A faint creak, the crumble of loosened soil, or the muted snap of rock under pressure can carry in the still air, reminding anyone nearby that the land is far from static. These sounds are rare, fleeting, and easily missed. But for those who have heard them, they leave a lasting impression, the kind that lingers long after one has left the area. In some locations, the fissures intersect with the tracks of seasonal flood channels. The upcoming monsoon season, still weeks away, looms in the minds of researchers, as heavy rainfall could transform these open cracks into conduits for rapid erosion. 
Water, once it finds an entry point into a fracture, can carve and expand it far beyond its original dimensions. This would not only deepen the existing openings, but could also undermine adjacent ground, causing sections to collapse without warning. The thought of sudden rain-driven transformations adds another layer of unpredictability to an already complex situation. The surface features of the cracks are also beginning to tell their own story. Some edges are sharp and clean, suggesting very recent formation, while others are already starting to crumble, forming talus-like slopes of loose sediment that gather at the base. This gradual breakdown of the walls reveals the fragility of the surrounding material. The desert's sandy, loosely compacted soils do not resist erosion the way harder rock formations might. Instead, they surrender quickly, feeding into the growing voids and altering their shape almost daily. Over time, these shifts could give the fissures a more terraced appearance, with steps of eroded sediment leading down into darkness. Beyond the obvious geological concerns, there is a growing awareness that the cracks could influence how the desert itself functions as an environment. Certain plants, especially those with long taproots, may find themselves suddenly without the deep anchoring points they require. This could lead to localized die-offs, creating bare patches where invasive species might later take hold. In the long term, this could subtly shift the balance of plant life across affected areas, altering habitats for everything from insects to larger mammals. Such changes are not immediate, but the cracks act as catalysts for environmental chain reactions that can ripple outward over years or decades. For the scientists stationed in the field, the cracks have become both an object of fascination and a puzzle demanding constant attention. The challenge lies in not only documenting their dimensions, but in trying to capture the invisible processes behind their formation. Instruments measure ground vibration, subtle temperature differences, and shifts in magnetic fields, all in the hope of detecting patterns. Yet nature's timetable rarely aligns with human expectations, and the Earth often withholds its answers until it is ready. This patience-testing reality means that researchers must remain on-site for extended periods, sometimes enduring the harsh midday heat and the biting chill of desert nights to collect a complete picture. Night in the desert adds a new dimension to the experience. In the absence of sunlight, the fissures become voids of absolute blackness, swallowing the beam of a flashlight after only a short distance. Standing near the edge at night, one feels an acute awareness of the emptiness below, an unseen space whose depth is left to the imagination. The stillness amplifies the sense of isolation, and the cracks seem to exist in their own reality, separate from the familiar rhythms of day. For those tasked with monitoring them, this nocturnal watch heightens both the mystery and the caution with which each step must be taken. The psychological impact of such a phenomenon cannot be overlooked. For people living near the affected zones, the fissures have altered their perception of the land. The desert has always been vast, beautiful, and at times intimidating, but it was also seen as dependable. Now, with the sudden appearance of these massive splits, that sense of certainty has been shaken. The ground that once felt solid underfoot is now viewed with suspicion and even routine activities. Checking livestock, repairing fences, traveling dirt roads come with an added layer of vigilance. This subtle shift in mindset reflects the human instinct to reassess one's relationship with the environment when confronted with visible ongoing change. What remains constant throughout this event is the undeniable magnetism the fissures hold for those who encounter them. Whether seen from above in the sweeping arc of a drone camera or from ground level, standing at their very edge, they command attention. Their presence is both unsettling and awe-inspiring, a reminder of the raw power and unpredictability of the natural world. Even without knowing their full cause, observers can feel that they are witnessing a rare and significant moment in the desert's history. A moment when the Earth has chosen to reveal something of its deeper workings, without warning and without explanation. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us? What are your thoughts on mysterious cracks in Arizona desert? Will it get worse? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.